Hip hop hits. Period. It's hip hop nation. It's DJ Envy Tuesday Night Live. It's the People's Choice. DJ Envy got a special guest in the building. Jeezy. What it do, what it does. I seen you early this morning. You got to be tired, bro. Hey, man. Sleep for the week, man. We sleep when we die, baby. You know, we grinding right now. Absolutely. The new album comes out October 28th. Believe that. Trap or die. Trap or die. Three. Now, why'd you do Trap or die three? Why didn't you continue with the church in the streets? Oh, man. We back on we, we back on that we back on that bag music, man. We back on that grind. We mm-hmm. back on that grizzle. Uh, you know, we got to let things sort themselves out. But as far as me... I just feel like the message got to be about, you know, running that bag up, man, and getting out here and, and, and getting to it. You know what I mean? That's the space I'm in. Right. With, with Church in the Streets, it, 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 Church in the Streets, it felt like it was ahead of its time. It felt like it, it, it that needed to come right now with right, everything right, that's going right, on with the right. political scene right. and, the, you know, the, the, the police brutality right, and the right. racism and everything right, like right. that. I mean, but, you know, one thing about it is there. So it's like... You know the, the the blueprint already been laid, so it's just like you know when, when you when you need to go back and listen to that. I mean, you can, but you know now, you know in the meantime, why are you going through the realness and all mm-hmm. these you know police brutality and right. all the racism? I'm still gonna give you some motivation and music to go get your bag up, right? Because that's what you're killing when you're killing with success. Mm. You know what I mean? Because they want to see you down. We want to be up. We're gonna stay up. We ain't gonna never lose. You know what I mean? So that's what it's really about. You know, we gotta have that motivation of music. At all times, and I think Church in the Streets is what it was, is body work about what was going on. But um, Trapper Dot Three is bringing everything back full circle and let them know we back. Right now, what, what's the motivation for you to continue to do music? Because you, you're right. successful, you put out classic albums, right, you got, right, right. got great investments. Right, you got a. a your, your son is uh, he's, he's older now he's, Yeah yeah he's good He's up here with me He's moving around Doing his thing You know touching the town You know pumping his clothing How line. old is he? He's old enough He's old enough, old enough. <laughs> <laughs> We won't put, put him out there <laughs> Yeah So, so what, what's, the, what's the motivation? I mean just You know I love what I do This is what I'm good at You know it's like Almost being a basketball player You know what I'm saying um, It's almost like being a You know great at ball You know that's what you get To flex in front of the Ladies with you know they're right. in the gym and see you do your thing like you really you know if you're into you know weightlifting you know that's that's your thing this is my thing you know this right. is what I'm good at and this is what I love this is my stress you know my, my stress reliever this is when I gotta find that place to get in and, and, and you know this is my therapy you know what I mean when I get in the studio and I make those records and I listen back to them I'm be like damn like that's it you know what I mean right. and, and, and this just makes you want to go harder and even me just naming this joint. Chop it out three. It was setting the bar. Right, right, right. Because I already knew what that was. Playing with fly. That's playing fire. Right, right, right. So it was almost like, you know, I wanted to bring you know the lighter fluid and the gasoline to the scene because I want to play with fire. Gotcha. Because I got to push myself harder. Do you feel like people forget about absolutely? And the reason I say that, right? We I was in the club in Miami over the weekend and um they're playing all the new music, all the new music, and it was cool. You know, you right. do a little bop. And then when he played that who that, and I'm right. like, oh, it was like that feeling was yeah, back. Was that, like, who, that who that is an instant classic. And then it was like, dude, I'm the realest nigga in here. Yeah. And then that shit, you be like, oh shit, you forget. Right, right. Now that who that is a instant classic, but it, it brings people back full circle to, you know, what they love. You right. know what I'm saying? So you know, you can always like they say that what the catchphrase is is often imitated but never duplicated, or right. vice versa, or whatever. But when when you hear that authentic. Jeezy music is just like you know what that is because mm-hmm. that came from a real place. So I think like with a lot of cats now, you know they put out you no know, joints, but you know they they kind of they're not timeless. Mm-hmm. And I just because I think that's the way they're going about it. But that's on them. But for me, when I'm writing these records, you know I'm putting real thought into them. And right. I'm putting my reputation and my integrity on it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So who that to me, when I wrote that, I knew what that was. I called Shorty Red. I was like, yo, we're going to do the video like this. And I'm well, whatever color I wear, you're going to wear. And, you know, I want you to have the beat machine and all, because I, I saw it. Right. And I, and I knew what it was. And it's like, and the rec- by the way, the re- that record was done. I called him after the fact. And I was like, I want you to say, you know, Shorty Red on the track. Right, right, right. That, you know what I mean? And, and, and we put the whole thing together. So, when you see it now, right now to this day, you know what I'm saying, you just gotta respect it because you know it was a whole thought process behind it. But the record is timeless, mm. and you could do that record on any coast, like, right? You know absolutely, what I'm saying right. that's what I think makes it great. You know what I mean? And even going back to you know the first Trapper Die to the recession, which I think who that came off of to Trapper Die Three, I I feel like those are my best bodies of work. You know what I'm saying? Because gotcha. that's when I had to 
push myself to the limit. And and, and, it, and it feel good, man, to just even have a whole body of work that's like, you can damn near do the whole thing from front to back. Absolutely. And, and that's what I'm looking forward to. Absolutely. Now, now with this era, they call it the mumble rap era. Right, right. right where right. where I guess the lyrics don't matter as much. Right. Do you feel like you, you, you have to dumb yourself down a little bit because it's like, it I seems feel like, like a lot do, of stuff is easier. I feel like you got to do what you got to do. But I, I've been in the room and people be like, you know, I'm like, I'm going to change that line. It's like, why would you do that? But my whole thing is I don't, you know, I'm a man of respect. I don't want to be, you know, 10, 15 years down the line and I'm in the park, you know, with my daughter and somebody's like, yeah, that's, that's that corny rapper that used to rap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's why I'm serious about what I do because gotcha. it's almost like, you know what I'm saying? You want it to be forever. It's your legacy. Right. You know, you think of people like, you know, Hove and uh, certain people that just really just do what they do. They're very particular about what they say. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's for real. Right. So you don't want to be the guy that's just known for just doing anything. Because I've been in the studio with people, man. They do like 15 songs in 10 minutes. You're looking like. <laughs> it like, sounds like 15 like, songs in 10 minutes. Right, 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 right. You're like, wow, all right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and me, I, I cut a record and. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, a record or two and ride to him and live with him. Like, okay, I like that, I like that. Maybe I should change this or, you know, I'm going to stack this part. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I, I do I do my music like a single would. Like, I go in and I layer it. I put this on it. I, I want to mix a certain way because I know how it's supposed to feel. Right. And, um, you know, I think that's important when you're talking about stuff being timeless because you got to really know your craft. You got to really know when it's a complete. Gotcha. Thing, you know what I'm saying? And even with this whole process, it's like we didn't really make it in no. Actually, we was in a big studio, but we was in the smallest room. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We, right. was in the, we, we was in the room if you ain't got a budget. You know what I mean? We was in the smallest room. Four people can fit in there. And um, we were just grinding it out. But I knew after every song, I was like, yeah, we on to something. This is it. All right. right. I, I want one person to mix it. Gotcha. I want, you know, because I wanted to tell this story and putting the track listing together was real. Cause it was gotcha. Like, I want the intro to feel like this. I want the last song to be like that. And uh, the last time I had that feeling was with the Recession album. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I knew when I was done. I knew when I started and I knew I was done. Gotcha. And with this, I knew when I was done. When I did the last record, I was like, we done. We gotta do no more. All right, well, let's get into some music yeah. now. The album October 28th, Jesus yeah. in the building. What we get into? What you want to get into, Jesus? Let's get the new song, you baby. What you want? G wagon. You got, you know, if we got all that. Let's get, let's get the. Uh, if we got all that. We'll get to that all in or the, or the joint with French. Yeah, let's, let's do it with, with French first. Trapper Dot Three. Pre October twenty eighth. Pre-order right now on iTunes or at JeezyShop.com. Man, that sound like the streets. Right I like there. that. Mm -hmm. That, that give me that feeling again. That feel good. That street feeling again. Yeah, that feel good, man. Now, how'd you hook up with French? Why'd you Why'd you pick French for for, for the album? I mean, I felt like you know, me and French had did a you know a gang of records, you know, back and forth. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? We, we we talk all the time. And I, when I when I did that record, I, I was like, yo, I want to keep this record. But I want to put French on it. And when he sent the verse back, I was like, yo, that's it. That's it. Yeah. And it, it, it just feel, you know, if, you know, we, we, we love the party, man. You know, me and Fritz, you know, he's from up north, from down south, but, you know, we, we love the party. French from everywhere. French right. be trapped. <laughs> he be moving. French be moving. Right. So it, it just, you know, it only made sense. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, if you, if you just really listen to, you know, the body of work, like all that, like, you know, it's, it's just one big party, man. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, there's a lot of, you know, that motivation, that, that right. snow talk. You know what I mean? That's that. That's that feel good. Right, right, right. That's what people want to do. They want to feel good when they listen to that, you know, that straight drop. And I just feel like, you know, just this time around, it's just everything's fresh. It's all there. Right. You know what I mean? Like my, my, my man Bankroll says, it's all there. Now, now, um, your first single has Bankroll. And I, I just right. want to say something before we go on that. I was telling Natina, who works for the label earlier, I was like, Jeezy didn't change so much from the first time I met Jeezy. Right. The first time Jeezy, you was reserved, quiet. Right, right. If you ask Jeezy a question, Jeezy thought he was he was still in the drug game. He'd right. Be like, Jeezy, <laughs> what do you think about the album? Good. Right, right, right. Jeezy, what's what's up? What, what you doing next? Right. Nothing. I'd be like, damn it, Jeezy. You open up so what got you to open up so much? Cause I mean, you know, it was my homies telling me, like, yo, man, you do realize you're not in the street no more. <laughs> yo, <laughs> you do realize that, you know, people around the world love you for what you do. And, and you know, you know, I just always been in that mind state that when you be asked questions, you're being interrogated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was always brought up to tell people less and say less and listen more. Right. But when I started really understanding that, you know, this is who I am, this is who I'm gonna be. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't mind. You know, I'm, I'm smart enough to not to say, you know, nothing crazy that has right, anything right, right, to right. do with my past is gonna 
put me in the blender. Right, gotcha, gotcha, <laughs> you know what I'm gotcha, saying? Gotcha. So, so now it's like, it's cool. It's like, no, you ask me questions. It's like, yo, man, because I feel good right. about what's going on. You know, life's good. You know, you know, you know, everything is good. So it's like when the music is great, you know what I'm saying? You was an artist, you just happy. You know? Right, right, right. You want to tell people about it. You know what I mean? Absolutely. You want, you want to spread the word because it's like your hard work. It's like, nah, we got him this time. Gotcha. Yeah. So, you know, even, you know, now when I'm doing interviews, you know what I mean? It's real question. But by the way, a lot of that in the beginning with music questions they was asking me too, just so you know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? It was I like, mean, so what did you do with your baby? It's like, hey man, I ain't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nobody. I ain't seen nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? I ain't touched nothing. <laughs> and that's what a lot of it was. It was like in the beginning, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, I came straight from the street. So for me, you know, you just had to learn how to deal with the, the artistry and the fame. You know what right. I mean? It took me a while to be comfortable with people taking pictures in the club, you know what I mean? Like, who is that? It's feds. I'm gonna tell you a funny story. Even today, I was in the gym this morning. I told my man, I was like, yo, man, I'm in the gym. I see this other dude going hard on the elliptical like me, but he's an older dude. Right. And um, this is just let you know how my mind works. So, uh, you know, when I get off, I hit about an hour, bam. I know he probably hit about 45. Right. I seen him hop off. And his T-shirt said the director of the FBI, and I just ran the other way. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, shit. <laughs> I just let you know how my mind works. I was like, oh, man. Jesus, just to get him out. Just to get him out. You know, but, you know, now, man, it's just, you know, more so it's just, you know, you got to accept when you, when, when you're really a, a star or, uh, 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 you know, just you know, just a trap star, somebody that people love what you do for real, and it's just like they want to know, right? You know what I'm saying? And it's like you know, it's, it's, it's your you know obligation and your duty to let people know enough about because people don't really see me. I move like right, you know, what I, mean? I, I move like Ghost from Power. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? I'm, I'm was gonna be in that that three piece suit, but if you get it wrong, I'm going to all black that thing out with gotcha. the Scully. Gotcha. You feel me? That's that's how I'm living. But um, you know, I just feel like when you open up just enough. You know, it, it, it lets people inside your world, and, mm -hmm. and it makes them appreciate you more, cause all they know is your music. Right? They're like, God damn, my nigga, you sold a million this, and you know what I mean? You counted ten million dollars thirty million times. It's like, Absolutely. okay, but what else about you should I like? And, and when you conversate, they just see your mind. So I had a dude tell me that day, he's like, Yo, I like your music, but I like your mind more. And I'm just like, Okay, I get that. Cause people don't, you know, people don't get that side of you, especially right. with the last album. They get to see a different side of not right. just the trap or die side right, or the street right, right, right. side. They also get a side of, damn, this nigga really cares about the community or right, this nigga right, really right. tries to uplift people. Right, right. You know, right. they don't really get that side. Right. But you know, your first single featured uh, Bankroll. Yeah. And he passed away. Right. Now tell us about how that single came about and why you still decided to put it out even um, though he I wasn't I just felt in. like it was more so about keeping the legacy alive, man. Like, you know, Fresh was our little brother. He was our guy. He was next up, no doubt. I was ready to give him, you know, you know, the torch and all the game mm -hmm. that, um, he needed because he was just a he was just a genuine dude. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He was really like from it. You know what I mean? So to see him come up and D Rich was uh his producer, which D Rich came under up under the uh, tutelage of Shorty Red, which is my producer. Right. And uh, a lot of what D Rich was doing, like even D Rich produced who that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So a lot of what D Rich was doing, him and Fresh was, you know, building their own thing and I'm gotcha. just like, Y'all close. You know what I'm saying? So I really wanna come in and help y'all orchestrate it so we can take it the way y'all wanna go. Cause I remember having the last conversation with Fresh. He was, uh, this was after Life of a Hot Boy one. He didn't want to do two. And I was like, you should do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You are a, a a town hot boy. You know, you don't have to be from New Orleans to be a hot boy. But right. That's that's who you are. You run around with a bandana on you around your neck. You ain't got no shirt on. I'm like, where your shirt at, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's who he was. And he was like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to do it. And um, even with this record, I just felt like, you know, Atlanta needed that. The South needed that. The right. streets needed that. You know, his legacy needed that. You know, D. Rich needed that. We needed that. And um, we all knew what it was, you know, when it was there. But just to see people appreciate that shit, it's just like, and I'm telling you, man, like, you know, I'll put out a lot of songs, but, you know, the streets standing behind this one, like, yeah. Right, <laughs> this, right, right. this is our anthem, you know, and it, it makes sense. It's all there. It means a lot to right. it. <laughs> it, means you know a lot to it. it means a lot to the legacy, and it means a lot to the city. So I'm just happy to see people appreciate you know, real street music. Right, absolutely. You know what I mean? Not the, you know, the music you put together because you feel like it's going to get played in the club. We never knew it was going to get played at. We didn't care. Right. We just wanted people to hear it. And, um, you know, even the going back and forth and, you know, just what we talking about, it's just so serious and real, but it just sounds, 
you know, just so fresh. Right. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, you know, Scott Dweller blind and ain't seeing this shit. You Absolutely. Know what I mean? Like, that's, that, that sounds cool to me. I would love to have one of those. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That sounds like, you know what I mean? That's that talk. Absolutely. That's that motivation. But that's what, I miss, that's what I miss in the game. I miss that, that, that talk. Right. What I was raised on. You know what I right, mean? It's because right, right. when I was raised, I couldn't afford it. Right. So it was, it was... It was there, but now when I can't afford it, right. I like to hear that talk right, now right. because now it's a different feeling. Yeah, it make you feel like it. That's what yeah. that's what we say in Atlanta, looking like it. You're looking like it. I'm looking like it. And um, look, man, just the fact that you know, and he he was the guy from the streets. Like him and Dobie was the hardest cats I ever heard. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and, and even when I look back at what happened to them, I'm like, damn, it's crazy. But they was hard, right? Like they was raw. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and just to be able to be a part of. You know his legacy. Even when we shot the video, we went to his neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Was he brought his mama out, his grandma, his cousins, mm -hmm. his son, his nephew, his, all his artists. You know his stepdad. And we just had a celebration. Right. That to, that to me, that's what you do when 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 you really rock with somebody. Absolutely. You you keep it going, and, and you know they bouncing. You know they they got a lot of stuff going on now. So I just commend him on that. You know what I'm saying because you know had the situation been different, I know he would have done that for me. You excited about this album? Yeah. What makes you so excited about this album? I mean, you seem happy, man. Like yeah, I'm, I'm, Jeezy seems happy. <laughs> I mean, I tell you, like you know, everything's good, man. But you know, when the music is great, it, it just you know, I'm an artist at right. the end of the day, and I, I love what I do. So I like to be appreciated for my hard work. And I just feel like you know, a lot of people out there like Kenny pull it, but like this is it. Right. That straight drop. It's like you know when you used to get that bag back in the day. Right. When you knew it was straight drop. Right. You already knew what it was. You couldn't wait to get it off, and that's how I feel about. You know this 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 album and this project is just like I'm ready, like I can't wait. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like two weeks is too long to be honest. With you. <laughs> now let's you talk. Let's talk about Shorty Low. What does Shorty right. Low mean to you? I mean, he had one of your biggest sixteens. Right. Came from Shorty Low. Record. Right. And it, it, and 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 another was uh was a part of his click was the Fable record. The Fable record, right? Uh, geeked up. I mean, like Shorty Low was the you know it was the originators of snap music, mm -hmm. but the, the, this you know as a CEO. And what he had going on is their own thing. Mm -hmm. You know, and they just did it different. You know what I mean? And I respected that because he didn't just do what everybody else in the city was doing. Mm -hmm. You know, their music was party, it was dance, it was, you know, feeling good. It was just capping a different way. Right. You know, and they, and they had melodies back then. Because even Shorty Low had melodies back then mm -hmm. that, you know, people didn't really have. And I remember hearing um, They Know. Uh, I was at the radio station, V103, doing the interview, and I heard, and I was like, yo, that's a new Shorty Low record. And I just remember going outside, texting him, like, yo. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Were you ready for the remix? But to me, you know, Shorty Low was just, he was real Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Like, he was a real West Side cat that was really out of the streets and really trying to figure it out and really trying to help, you know, his team. You know, he's right. the one that really had a studio in the hood, right. on the block. Mm -hmm. He was the dude you're going to see out every night at the Blue Flame. You know what I'm saying? Especially on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, Wednesdays when it's really cracking. And, you know, it was just L.O. You right. know what I mean? You saw him, it was always G. You know, I just knew him for being a great father and, you know, just stuff like that. But at the same time, you know, he was he was Atlanta. Like, he was a, he, he was really that dude on the west side. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, you know, just to even, you know, hear and see him pass, you know, I hate to see that. But I'm just glad that, you know, he left us with his music. Right. And his legacy, you know, just to remind us, you know, how great, he really was and how great you know of a of a effort he gave it because we all from the hood mm -hmm. we're not we're not musicians and artists and we ain't come up and you know what i mean like we we just trying to figure it out Absolutely. <laughs> you know what i'm saying Absolutely. so for us to even be in a position to you know to, to make great music and represent the city like that you know what i'm saying i just thought it was you know crazy i remember him coming out on birthday bash a couple of times and doing his thing and it's just like you know that's low but low was a real street cat you mm -hmm. know what i mean and 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 i think you know, and, and by the way, you know, I feel him because, you know, I was a CEO as well. I wasn't really the artist. Mm -hmm. I just got put in that position where I had to be the artist. And I know he was a CEO. Mm -hmm. and he ended up making records. I'm just like, yo, this nigga making his. Yeah, <laughs> you absolutely. Know what I'm so, um, and I remember doing the remix for him to, um, to They Know and sending him the verse. Mm -hmm. And he was Did you know that me. verse was going to be that big? Yeah, because I really, I mean, I, listen, man, I heard that song, it went nowhere in the hell. <laughs> I'm not gonna give him the hardest. No, no disrespect verse. to anybody else on right, the remix, right? But that's the only verse right, that you hit, right? And it's crazy because, you know, I wrote it 
And I did it. I wrote that, and I wrote the uh, Rocco, uh, I'm going to do me verse in the same night. Mm -hmm. And I remember just playing it back and forth, and I was like, yo, I like the Rocco verse, but I like, though this is crazy, mm -hmm. right? And um, I gave it to him. And then I, I'm going to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? I got, you know what I'm saying? What, what do they say? Burning holes in your pockets. He couldn't put the remix out fast enough, so I just kind of <laughs> slid that thing on out. You oh, you slid saying? it out? Just let it out? Absolutely. So that's why when you hear one version of it, it just got me it on It just that. got you on right. it, right? <laughs> and then he put everybody else on it. Gotcha. But he wasn't even triple, though. He was like, I already know. But I was like, yo, man. And I was trying to figure out who made the beat. Because the horns, you know, I love horns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like, yo, who made this shit? And, you know, I, I couldn't get it out of, you know what I mean? But at the same time, um, you know, even now to this day, I still do that record on stage and people still go crazy. And when we was at the Formation Tour in Atlanta and Beyonce, you know, you know, did it to show love, I was just like, wow. Yeah, that's big. That was big. <laughs> you know what I'm that saying? I'm like, okay. Now, what, what gave you that in that, that investment mind, that entrepreneur mind? Because right. they say you, you, you're you trying to buy half of Atlanta. Right. You know, <laughs> you were one of the first artists to endorse liquor. Right, right. Way, right. way, 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 way right, before. Right, right, right. What gave you what gave you that mindset? I'm a hustler. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like you gotta you gotta expand your portfolio. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You never should put all your things in one basket. You know right. what I'm saying? And it's just like this is my art and my craft, but you already know how the music business is. It ain't you know, it ain't you know, it ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and, and we already saw what Puff and Jay did for, you know, for, for up north, but you know, we yet to have somebody come out of Atlanta this, or the South that's worth a billion dollars. That's my goal. Like I'm, 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 I'm working on that. And it's right, just like you got to spread yourself around and do other things because the music is the vehicle. But at the same time, you got to still have a hustler mentality. And if you're a hustler, you're gonna do whatever you need to do to meet your goal or meet your quota. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you ain't just like stuck in a box just because you know people telling you you're artist. You know what I mean? So that's my thing. By the way, that's what keeps me, you know, you say I'm happy. That's what keeps me saying. It's just like I do other things that I'm excited about. I love the music. I'm going to do that, you know, until I can't. But it's just like when I bust situations and people don't know, and it's just like you're sitting down, they're like, yeah, you know, you're an artist. And I'm looking at niggas like, you crazy? <laughs> like, do you know what I really, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do right. you know what my portfolio's like? Yeah. Have, you, have you really just sat down? And that's because, you know, I strive for that, you know, right. and, I, and I like that because that brings that brings respect because gotcha. you're not just looked at as a, a rapper you know when you stereotype rappers they just think you sipping lean out of cup and smoking weed all day right you know what i'm saying but it's just like nah it's, you know some of us really be on our shit gotcha. <laughs> you Absolutely. know what i'm saying Absolutely. like you know like yourself like you know you like you know you you you, you do you know dj stem club but it, it ain't no telling what else you got going right. on that's Absolutely. why you able to live the way you live because you ain't just putting yourself in one box yeah but that's that's like, the passion the passion for right. me is is to to do more than what people expect. Right, right, right. You know what right, I mean? Right. Whether it's uh, the juice bar or the right. soda company or the, right. or the real estate, I just want to do more. And I want right. to teach my kids how to do it because nobody taught me. Right. I was the first one. So being able to teach them and telling them to work out the numbers on a, on a property and, right, and, and right, if right. I'm going to make my money back, right. that's my enjoyment. That's right. what I get a kick out of now. Right. You know what I mean? It's that. When that's the album comes out. That, spreading that love, baby. Yeah. Album comes out October 28th. 28th. You know Make sure you is. go pick it up. Pre-order pre right, right now. now. iTunes. If you can't get the iTunes, go to jeezyshop.com. Matter of fact, if you're riding with me and you're rolling with me, that's what I need you to do. When you when you post a picture up, put three fingers in the air. Uh, hashtag TD3. Hashtag Snow Season. And we'll talk about that later on. But uh, look, man, shouts out to everybody that's rocking with me, man. And TD3, man, you already know the first trap of die is, so you can only imagine they say, they say things get better with time. I'm going to let you tell me. Okay. <laughs> How Enough about said. that? Enough said. <laughs> Owl Mount, October 28th. Let's yeah. get into the last show. What we getting into? Let's go with that let them know. You're right. in the gym and see you do your thing. Like, you really, you know, if you're into, you know, weightlifting, you know, that's that's your thing. This is my thing, you know. This right. is what I'm good at. And this is what I love. This is my stress, you know, my, my stress reliever. This is when I got to find that place to get in and, 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 you know, this is my therapy, you know what I mean? When I get in the studio and I make those records and I listen back to them, I'll be like, damn, like, that's it. You know what I mean? Right. And, and, and this just makes you want to go harder. And even me naming this joint, Chop It Out 3, it was setting the bar. Right, right, right. Because I already knew what that was, playing with fly, that's playing fire. Right, right, right. So it was almost like, you know, I wanted to bring, you know, the lighter fluid and the gasoline to the scene because I want to play with fire. Gotcha. Because I got to push myself harder. Do you feel like people forget about Absolutely. And the reason I say that, right, we I was in a club in Miami over the weekend, and um, they're playing just the streets, it, 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 church in the streets. It felt like it was ahead of its time. It felt like it, it, it that needed to come right now with right, everything right, that's going right, on with the right, political scene right. and the, 
you know, the the, the police brutality right, and the right. racism and everything right, like right. that. I mean, but you know, one thing about it is there. So it's like, you know, the the, the blueprint already been laid. So it's just like, you know, when, when you when you need to go back and listen to that, I mean, you can. But you know, now, you know, in the meantime, why are you going through the realness and all mm-hmm. these, you know, police brutality and right. all the racism? I'm still gonna give you some motivational music to go get your bag up. Right. Cause that's what you're killing when you're killing with success. Mm. You know what I mean? Cause they wanna see you down. We wanna be up. We're gonna stay up. We ain't gonna never lose. You know what I mean? So that's what it's really about. You know, you gotta have that motivational music at all times. And I think Church in the Streets is what it was, is about work, about what was going on. But um Trapper Dot Three is bringing everything back full circle and let them know we back. Right now, what's the motivation for you to continue to do music? Cause you're right. successful, you put out classic albums, right, you got, right, right. got great investments. Right, you got a, a your, your son is uh, he's he's older now. He's, yeah, yeah, he's good. He's up here with me. He's moving around doing his thing. You know, touching the town. You know, pumping his clothing. How old is he? He's old enough. He's old enough. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll, we won't put, <laughs> put him out there. <laughs> yeah. So so what, what's the, what's the motivation? I mean, just you know, I love what I do. This is what I'm good at. You know, it's like almost being a basketball player. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's almost like being a you know great at ball. You know that's what you get to flex in front of the ladies with. You know, hip hop hits. Period. It's hip hop nation. It's DJ Envy Susan at live. It's the People's Choice DJ Envy. Got a special guest in the building, Jeezy. What it do? What it does? I seen you early this morning. You got to be tired, bro. Hey man, sleep for the week, man. We sleep when we die, baby. You know we grinding right now. Absolutely. The new album comes out October twenty eighth. Believe that. Trap or die. Trap or die. Three. Now, why'd you do Trap or die three? Why didn't you continue with the church in the streets? Oh man, we back on we, we back on that we back on that bag music, man. We back on that grind. We mm-hmm. back on that grizzle. Uh, you know, we got to let things sort themselves out. But as far as me, I just feel like the message got to be about you know running that bag up, man, and getting out here and, and, and getting to it. You know, what I mean, that's the space I'm in. Right. With, with church, all the new music, all the new music, and it was cool. You know, you right. do a little bop. And then when he played that who that, and I'm right. like, oh, it was like that feeling was yeah, back. I was that, like, who, that who that is an instant classic. And then it was like, dude, I'm the realest nigga in here. Yeah. And then that shit, you be like, oh shit, you forget. Right, right. Now that who that is a instant classic, but it, it brings people back full circle to, you know, what they love. You right. know what I'm saying? So you know, you can always like they say that what the catchphrase is is often imitated but never duplicated, or right. vice versa, or whatever. But when when you hear that authentic. Jeezy music is just like you know what that is because mm-hmm. they came from a real place. So I think like with a lot of cats now, you know they put out you know joints, but you know they they kind of they're not timeless. Mm-hmm. And I just because I, 